Hey, I'm Bob at I Like To Make Stuff. Today we're gonna make a huge outdoor storage cabinet. For this project, I intentionally used lumber that it was really easy to come by at any big box store. So this entire thing is made out of two by fours, one by fours, and half inch plywood. I cut all the two by fours to length using a speed square to make sure that it was square and a circular saw. If you've got a miter saw, that'll make it even faster. Once I had all these pieces cut, I started joining up the frames and I did that with a pocket hole jig. Every time I use pocket holes, there are certain people that complain about them, but the fact of the matter is they're fast, they're simple, and they're usually strong enough. They don't have to hold up the world, they just have to hold a cabinet together. So I used pocket holes to attach the outside pieces of the frames, I made two frames, and then connected those frames together. Notice I'm putting glue on the end grain here, which doesn't do a whole lot, but it also certainly does not hurt. I got both of the outside frames put together and then had to connect them to each other. I screwed on some longer pieces of 2x4 just to connect the two frames together, and I used a scrap piece of half inch plywood as a spacer on the back. There's going to be a panel that goes there, and so this gives me the location of where the frame needs to be. The placement of these 2x4s was a little bit different from end to end. The top front actually had it all the way up against the front, and that's because that's the one that's going to be seen. The rest of them will be covered with plywood. The 2x4s had a little bit of bend in them, so it looked really out of whack until I got the top frame put on and everything screwed together. Once the glue and screws were in place, it started to square up pretty nicely. After I got all of these 2x4s screwed in, then it was time to add the sheeting. I stood this thing up to see how tall it was. It was pretty huge. To put on the bottom panel, I needed to put in a few more 2x4s to support the weight of anything that I put on the bottom shelf. So I put those in place and had to knock them in because the frame was nice and tight. I screwed those in from the back and then from the front. I used an edge guide on my circular saw to cut down the full sheets into more reasonable sized panels. If you have a table saw, that's much easier, but mine's kind of hard to take outside. This made it so that I could cut down the pieces one by one to fit them into place. I put on the back panel and just screwed it into the 2x4s along the top and the bottom. This held it in place just fine, even though it was a little floppy in the middle. That'll get tightened up later on. I cut down a few more panels to fit into the sides. These are pretty basic. The only difference was that I needed to notch out to go around the 2x4s. I used my speed square just to mark out these and then cut them out with a jigsaw. This extra little bit on the end helped it to drop down inside the frame to make sure that there was a connection at the top and the bottom. This held the panel in place and I just added some screws into the back of the 2x4s to hold them there. I put the other side in the exact same way and every panel that you add to this makes it stronger and more rigid. I cut down a couple of more panels, one went on the bottom. I just screwed this straight down through the top into the 2x4s below. Then I had to cut down some cleats out of some 1x4 material and these are going to hold the shelves in place. I could have also done this outside, but it's much easier with a miter saw and a table saw, so I just came in to cut them down to length, and then cut them down to width. Sorry about the blurry shot here, I think the dog distracted me when I was shooting this. I measured up on one side and made a mark, and then I used the level to transfer that line all around to all three sides. I added some glue, lined these up with my marks, and then nailed them in place to dry. These aren't going to hold a ton of weight, so I wasn't too worried about them being overly strong. My oldest son was outside and asked if he could help, so of course I said yes. It's awesome because usually they're at school when I'm working, so this was a great time for us to work on something together and a relatively safe part of the project. Anytime you have the chance to get one of your kids working on something with you, take advantage of it. I'm sure glad that I did. Once we got these cleats up, I added a piece of plywood as the shelf and then another piece of 1x4 on the front and just used some glue and nails to hold it in place. I did the same thing for the other shelf as well. I cut down another piece of plywood to use for the top. And this had a simple frame around it that I cut with the miter saw. I used some 1x4s, cut down 45 degree angles on four pieces that fit on the perimeter, then took them to the table saw to cut them down to width. I used some glue and brads to hold this around the panel. Now this isn't going to get any direct water, so I wasn't too worried about it being watertight, but you could always seal up these gaps if you really wanted to. Again with the focus, sorry. I dropped this thing on and hammered it into place, and it was a nice tight fit. The last two panels to cut were the doors. Again, I used the edge guide to cut down two similar panels and then laid them out on my big table to add the trim. The trim here is mostly for decoration, but it will help counteract some of the bending that's bound to happen with plywood. The thicker plywood you get, the less you have to worry about this, but with half inch, sometimes it happens. I used quite a bit of glue to hold these pieces down and then a whole lot of brads to hold them in place while they dried. The glue is what really does the work though. I added a couple more pieces at the top and the bottom and then one piece right in the center. 
I decided not to use pressure treated lumber for this project because I knew I was going to paint it, so I pulled out the paint sprayer and went to work. Huge thanks to Blue Apron for sponsoring this video. They have a really awesome meal service with great fresh food that they send out every week. The first 50 viewers will get three meals off their order for free. They've got tons of recipes and they're always adding new ones. And you can see here, I was making some shrimp etouffee, which is something I've never made before. You get a refrigerated package with all of the ingredients precisely measured so there's no waste. You get nothing that you don't need. It's fantastic. We get the family plan, but they've also got a two-person plan if you don't need quite that much food. You always get free shipping. There's tons of different recipes and you can cancel it at any time. I was really happy that I was able to cook this meal thanks to Blue Apron and my kids actually liked it too. Go check them out. There's a link down in the description. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Thanks Blue Apron. I sprayed what I could, but I had to roll the doors because I didn't really have another way to prop them up. I used some outdoor paint with some primer built in, so really one coat was pretty good. I laid the cabinet on its back and laid the doors in place. Because of how big this thing is, that just made the most sense. It also helped me make sure that the gaps between the doors and between the sides and the top and the bottom were all even. Once I got everything evenly spaced, I just added some hinges. I added a simple latch to the center of these doors. This type of latch is made to use with a lock, and that's because I'm going to have power tools in here and a bunch of pool chemicals and dangerous stuff, so I want to make sure that I keep it locked up so the kids can't get in there and mess with anything. The reason I made this cabinet so tall was so that I could hang some yard tools in the bottom. I put in several different hangers to hold different things, and I'll probably change that over time as I add more stuff to the cabinet. The top shelves are for dangerous chemicals, and it closes up pretty nicely. I'm really happy with how it turned out, and it's going to be super useful. Overall, this is a relatively simple project. There's nothing really complex about the build, it's just a lot of steps. If you have a table saw and a miter saw, that will make it faster for sure, but you could do this entire thing with a circular saw and a drill if that's all you've got. I will have plans for this available on my site if you're interested in making one, and if you decide that you don't need something this tall, because it is very, very tall, then you could easily just change the height dimensions to make the whole thing a little bit shorter. If you don't need a space at the bottom that's large enough to hold things like rakes and shovels, you could either add a bunch of shelves or you could just change the overall height to bring the whole thing down a little bit lower. One thing I have not done on this yet that I will do is mount it to the wall. Something this big and this heavy could be very dangerous if it fell over onto a child, and I don't know what the situation would be that would cause it to fall over, but better safe than sorry. I need to go to the store, get a big eyelet, then I'm going to put it into the 2x4 that's at the top of this thing, and then tie it to the wall with a strap. I can't do that yet because I don't have any Tapcon screws or anything like that to be able to drill into the brick. So I have to go get that so that I can finish it up. Like I said, simple project gives me a ton of storage and helps me get any dangerous chemicals and pool stuff up out of the way, out of the reach of the kids, and makes it really easy for me to get to the rake so that they can rake the leaves. Once again, I have plans for this on my site. There'll be a link right up there in the card that you can go check that out. I've got lots of other videos that you might be interested in as well, all sorts of different stuff. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any of the new videos. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Outdoor storage cabinet. <laughs>